All right, good morning everybody. In today's video, I uh, got the Raptor, uh, the Yamaha Raptor 80. Um, it is not starting for us, so let's see if we can go ahead and get it started today. And also I'll do uh, oil change and fluid change on it uh, while I have it in here. Let's get to it. Let's see if it's still doing what it was doing the other day. Turn that on. We're in neutral. Engine to run. Turn my gas on. And turn the choke on. Now let's see. Oh, of course it just starts right up today. What the heck? Of course it just starts today. Alright, well we're going to do oil change and everything on it anyway. That's annoying, but that's cool too, because I figured it was a fouled spark plug, so let's go ahead and get that out first. Alright, let's go ahead and take the boot off of there. Going to use our 5 8 socket for spark plugs to take that off, if I can get that on there. Come on. There it is. Should there we go. Okay, good. That's good. That wasn't that wasn't on there. Too tight. She's rusted. She doesn't look too let's see what she looks like. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So what had happened was my uh See if it'll focus on that at all. My son um, accidentally flipped it, and it was sitting with uh, on the side for a little while before I could get to him. So uh, I think it was stuck on the on one of the strokes, and all the oil did its did its thing. This is an old uh, this is an old spark plug anyway. So we're going to go ahead and replace it with this new one. Hopefully it's the right one. As long as it's not longer than that. And it definitely looks like it's shorter than that. So interesting. I wonder if this spark plug was the wrong one. All right. Let's go ahead and get this in there. At least that other one wasn't, wasn't drove all the way home. I uh, get these finger tight. Get that on there. All right. So don't don't smoke it down, but get it so it's snug. Whenever I can't do it like that, boom, just one more. Because you don't want that to be too tight on there. Put that back on. Turn it on. Turn it on. Put the choke on over here if I can find it. There we go. Give her a start. Just a little bit before we do the oil. Throw the old spark plug out. And let's get the oil pan and yeah, start doing that. Alright, so it's a 17 millimeter bolt right there. Got our oil pan. Good. 
ahead and get that on there. Smoke down there. Ah, okay, I'm getting my gloves. On my gloves. And that's loose. Tell you what, they don't make these things for freedom hands, brother. Moment of truth here. Oh, yeah, duh. This should help make it flow some. Open up the tip stick here. Just cleaning off the bolt. That goes back in there. A little rusty. But the thing is, I went and picked this up by the coast, so I almost can guarantee this thing's been out to Bosco Beach and stuff. Which, out here, everybody knows Bosco Beach is where ATVs go to die. See her ripping down in there. He's coming to an end. It was dirty. I'm glad I'm changing it, because that looks disgusting. So we'll go ahead and let this finish dribbling out and then we will go ahead and uh, put the bolt back on and put some oil back in it. All right, she is just dripping now. So I will go ahead and get this bolt back on there. Same thing, because when I took this thing off, it was ridiculously tight. You do not have to smoke these down all the way, brother. You just need a little bit of, not too much freedom for these Japanese machines, you know what I mean? There she goes. That's, that's uh, torque to Yankee spec. All right. All right, get the dipstick nice and Clean off, clean off around the hole. And don't be getting gross, you dirty bastards. Let's see if it even picks anything up. Like, why are you twisting it down all the way? Okay, so no, no oil on there. Good. Let me. Look up again how much this takes in so I know how much to guesstimate for it. We will be using a Yamalube 10W30 all purpose four stroke. All right, so it said 0.85 of a quart, and this is one US quart, so a little bit, little bit less than all that bottle. Let's go ahead and take out our dipstick. Got a funnel here. Bottoms up. Nice new oil for this bad boy. She'll be happy about that. Almost there. One little splash. Because I don't want to overfill it, which I think I've done. Let that sit just for a sec. All right, I'll let that sit for a little bit. Let's go ahead and see where our level's at. I won't screw it all the way down because if we got it on there, oh yeah. Oh yeah, she's, uh, she's full. She's full. She's a full. That's really it. I don't see any leaks on the bottom. Uh, no leaks on the bottom there. So it looks like we're good. We checked and verified. We had 
Oh, we got a new spark plug in there. One other thing I am going to do is I'm going to change out the rear diff fluid. Um, but I'm going to ride it around a little bit just to warm up that gear fluid back there. So that way it'll actually kind of come out of there because it was a little bit cold last night. But let's go ahead and give her a start. Oh yeah, I took it out. I put it out of neutral because I put it up on those boards. It'll need a choke. She's probably like, what on earth? I'm actually lubricated now? gas oh dumbass I didn't turn the fuel on what an idiot what an idiot oh, now it'll run better So we got it nice and uh, warmed up. Well, it doesn't feel warm, but we rode it for a little bit. Try to get all this gunk so we don't get that in there. I could hook up my air tank and blow that so it doesn't get all crazy, but I think we'll be good. I think that's good good enough uh, the gear oil back here let's see how this looks oh my god oh can you see that uh, you don't really want to have that milky tint to it um so that means there's probably some water in there uh but we're gonna fix that right now well they made that nice and convenient because it's the 
same size. Let's make sure. Lefty Lucy. Yep. Oh. That's all very tight. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, that's one way to do it. It is loose now. Let me go ahead and get my gloves. I keep doing that. I'm trying to work without my damn gloves on. Let's go ahead and loose. Oh, that bolt looks all crud, too. Looks like garbage. Let's see what it looks like when it comes out. Should look pretty disgusting. All right. Boom. Oh my. I'm glad I am changing this. Oh my God. I don't. I'm going to go ahead and let that drain real good out of there because that's horrible. Let's open this up, see if we get a little bit more airflow. Yeah, it's good. It's good that we were doing this because holy mackerel. When it comes to Yamaha, I always like to use the Yamalube stuff. So this is what we're going to be using uh, let's see, is it going to focus? Yeah, the Yamalube uh, shaft drive oil. It's it made specifically for this. So we'll be using this. And we have a little, little pump that goes in the bottle so that way we can pump it in there rather than trying to use it. Go ahead and... Number one, Dad. Conveniently goes right on the top there. And now we have a little pump where we can just pump it out. I think this locks in. What the fuck? Read the instructions. Insert. Yes, sir. Can't tell what's going on here. I think we have a broken, uh, we got a broken pump. This thing doesn't want to, uh, There it goes. There it goes. It was just being stupid. Just being stupid. Now, now we can pump it like soap. Look at that. See? And look, that's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> Not the garbage that it did look like. Let's just put that up there so we don't spill it for now. That looks like it's drained pretty good. Go ahead and get this bolt cleaned off here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not as gross as it was. Get you guys back down here. See, see how she's going to go. here clean up around the threads too yeah that ain't bad let's see try to get in there without getting my hands all covered in that stuff i always do all drain bolts finger tight first because you never want to really crank on these too bad I'm just getting that bolt in there Finger tight. Yeah, it's finger tight. Righty tighty. Oh yeah. That's torque to Yankee specs. Well now let me look up in the manual and pump some fluid through there. 
All right. Said it takes 120 milliliters, so we'll just take a look on the bottle, and once we get down to there, we'll call it a day. So that means we're at like 146 milliliters, so that should be enough. Nice and good. Yeah. Put it down in there. Oh, kids. Oh, yeah. Plenty of juice on there. She gonna like that. She gonna like that after what's been in her. Holy cow. All right, well. Got her cap back on there. She's nice and tight. Oh, she's not tight. Let's make sure she's tight. There we go. We made sure our levels are good on that. Our nut down there seal. Got all that nastiness out of there. Yeah. That's disgusting. Oh, a little chunk came out of there. Yummy. Yankees chocolate milk tastes just like ass. Don't ask me how I know how that tastes. All right, so that's really gonna do it for today. Everybody, I really appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel. Um, it really means a lot that you guys actually wanna see um, the projects that we're gonna be doing. I do have our uh, hydraulic oil. I went and ordered that. I have, let's see, oh, it's in the truck, but I got the uh, drill bit for our hammer drill. So hopefully this week uh, I'll have some time to actually be able to put up the lift. So that'll be good. Put the lift up and then go find ourselves a race car, boys. All right. Well, hopefully everybody has a wonderful rest of your day and we'll catch you on the flip side. See you.